Mm. Okay, guys, so today is, what is the date November today? 29th. November 29th, 2020. 2020. One year ago, I bought the RV. If you remember, I had it parked in my brother's driveway to do the original tour of the RV. And I thought today being one year later, um, having almost the complete remodel done, that I would show you um, the whole inside and everything that I've done and just put together like a comparison with shots from that original video and hi person pushing a stroller and uh, <laughs> and how it looks nowadays so here is how we look parked in uh, in the campground in Nokomis Florida right here guys I cannot believe that it has actually come to this time you got the bee you got the Goliath and this is our setup back here Wherever we go, we pull out the carpet here. You guys have seen me do this when I was at Tappan in a couple of videos. We got the picnic table over here, a couple of chairs back here to chill over there. Got an extra one here, Blackstone over here to make some food. Really haven't done a whole lot to the outside of the RV, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Anyway, I wanna show you the inside, everything that we've done and show you some comparison pictures from the day that I bought it to how it looks now. So you can see there's been a lot of changes in here. Most of you have watched me do this whole renovation. If not, you can go back through this channel and you can watch that. But I'll just give you a quick rundown now with everything that I've done in here and everything that's changed. So going front to back, I took out the old chairs here and I actually had these recovered. This is all brand new fabric on these chairs. I took out the carpet here and replaced all that. I put this table in here so that there would be an extra sitting area area here to have meals or work on a laptop or do whatever you need to do. I put in red curtains instead of the other ones, although at night when you have these closed and have that little light on right there, it makes this front end glow red. So <laughs> that's kind of strange. I left this TV in here for right now just because I haven't got to it and uh, I haven't decided what I want to do with that area right there. But I did put in this big TV here. I got the corner fireplace and I took out the old chair that was right there. I pulled up all the carpet and the old floor that was in here and put down this hardwood. Replaced all the carpet on this slide here, all the way under that couch there. Took out the old couch and replaced it with this one. Took out the dinette and replaced it with my work area here. I took out all the old blinds and replaced them. I took out the old valances that were here and built these box valances. 
I took this down and rebuilt it and covered it with the same uh, fabric that I used on the valances. And then this you can open up. And here's just a bunch of things that we need when we're going in and out. My wallet, my keys, umbrellas, a flashlight, just anything we might need when we're going outside of the RV. I put new carpet and hardwood on the steps here. But I need to fix this because I used this cheap stuff here for the trim and it broke already. So I do have new trim. I just need to stain it. It's actual wood and I'm going to be fixing that. I put up a new backsplash here in the kitchen. This is all new. It's just that peel and stick backsplash. But that's all new. All of this is uh, new wallpaper throughout the entire coach all the way from front to back. I replaced this cutting board top on the uh, on the stove here. Took down the original uh, under cabinet coffee machine, replaced it with a Keurig. A lot of people have asked me about this because I have not talked about it yet, but I did replace my fridge. I took this in to have the old fridge fixed and they wanted to keep it for six weeks to get it done. And I said, nope, I had them take the old one out. I pulled over at Lowe's, measured the area, went in, pulled this one out of the store and installed it right there in the parking lot. So we have a brand new residential fridge right here. And this is the same size as one that you would have in your own home. And we are completely stocked. <laughs> Going into the back, the hardwood continues all the way back here until we get to the bedroom where I did tear out and replace this carpet. If you remember, or if you want to go see the video, I tore this carpet out with Wally, and that was a job, let me tell you. He wanted so bad to get out of the house and come over here and help me, and I wanted him to help me, and he came over here, and about an hour into the job, he's like, what time do I get to go home? <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that ain't too bad at all. It was such a huge job, but we got it done. Thank you, Wally, for helping me with that. I kept the original surround um, in the shower here, but I did get a new shower head. This is actually the second new shower head that I've had because the first one didn't work very well. This one is excellent. And I did have some problems with this whole system here. I had to take it apart and put it back together because it was leaking. But I got this shower curtain here, even though that's not that big of a addition. It is uh, something cool in here that added to the look. Um, here's a better look at the wallpaper that I replaced throughout the entire coach here. And that wallpaper is in the, uh, the medicine cabinet here as well. Every nook and cranny I filled. Took down some of the woodwork that was around here because it was just ugly, but I did keep this part here because uh, Marion's hair dryer sits perfectly in there. Plus, I put two hooks here on the side where we can hang shower towels. In the bathroom here, I put in a brand new toilet. And, uh, well, I stuck my map on the wall there. <laughs> I put this uh, towel rack up here. Couple of baskets on top here to hold things, and these I ha actually had to use zip ties to hold them in place so that they won't slide or move around whenever I'm driving. In the bedroom, I took out the old CRT TV and I put up this uh, 1080p flat screen with a Blu ray player. Um, let's see, I told you about the carpet here. Again, we have the new blinds and the, uh, the valances here, box valances. And again, we have all new uh, wallpaper in here as well. And this mattress, I took out the old one and I put in a brand new one, a Serta from uh, Lowe's, I believe it was, one of those hybrid mattresses. It is so comfortable. And then I put a couple of dry erase boards over here just to kind of help with uh, daily plans and checklists and things like that. They're back here in the bedroom so that they'll kind of be out of the way and, you know, anybody comes in to check the place out it won't just be an ugly dry erase board on the wall so that is pretty much it guys and as i say that's pretty much it that doesn't take away from what a huge job this was that took this took me months and months and months to get done and uh, it is beautiful in here it is clean top to bottom front to back so i don't have to worry about anybody else's germs in here or dog hair or anything like that that is the tour right now of the complete remodel and like i said if you guys want to see the whole thing you can go back and watch those old videos um i may even put together a remodel video from start to finish just you know like a 10 minute thing covering everything that i did in here because uh because it was a huge job so all right guys that's it i will see you in the next video